welcome back this week guys this is episode one of season three i'm renzo rosato and i'm gaston rosato before we continue please hit subscribe right now hit subscribe what are you waiting for Follow us on Instagram and join us on the ride for this new piece of inventory, the 1969 Alfa Romeo GTV 1750. The missing link to our previous video that's seen on season one. If you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. That's right. I knew it was only a matter of time until this car came in. We finally have it. So although we already had the GTV review, I thought it was very important that we showcase this car given the fact that it was missing at the time of our original review. Yes, and this car does have something very special about it, which we will share with you guys. So hit that subscribe button, coming off for the ride. take the time to thank you guys we've had people show up already to our business just yes. to come say hello and meet us all through YouTube guys so yeah, that, I mean, was, that was really cool man. the expectation has, has been much greater than we ever thought when we first started this just a few months ago yeah. we have a lot to grow so please don't forget to hit subscribe but in the meantime, it's been absolutely phenomenal, so thank you. The shifting position on this car is absolutely perfect. I'm actually a big fan of the Dash 2, these big round dials, yeah. very clear. It's really the happy middle of all the GTVs. my eye to this car when I went to go inspect it for the first time and I was here locally I got an email that says hey I have a 69 GTV are you interested <laughs> of course I'm interested and I see he's local for sure that same day I went to go see it and the first thing that caught my eye was the fact that you know the interior was so properly preserved yeah I mean this dash has no cracks on it which is very yeah. hard to find now don't get me wrong it's not a perfect car no by no means but it's such a fun handling car yes it doesn't have a lot of power but it has just enough power to really go through the whole power band first gear second gear third gear fourth gear it takes you forever to get to fifth if you're hauling <laughs> ass but you enjoy every single bit of it it's versus, the experience it's the experience it's, of car it's the experience of driving this car yeah. and the, the handling it's a sports car <laughs> Gaston, what a beautiful car, man. So let's talk about the features of the 69. Like I said, this is the happy middle from a design standpoint and a mechanical standpoint. First year of the quad headlights okay. versus single headlights or the step nose. The tail lights still are the smaller version, which is the more popular or more sought after version. It's kind of like that transition of new, but still old in the front. And that's what makes this car always so desirable because it has that plus as the upgraded 1750 motor, which is not the biggest, like the two liter or the smallest, like the 1600 or even a 1300 for the junior cars. This year, they're all called GTVs, you know, quadrifolio badging right here on the C pillar, very unique interior. You can spot it out that it's a 68 or a 69 immediately. Just because those kind of seats you have in there. Just because of the seats. Now, what was the name of the seats again? The Flying Buttress. Fine buttress. Fine buttress? But fine buttress. But they made them 68 in different parts of the world, but only 69 for the United States. Now, let's talk about the goodies here. When I went to go see this car for the first time, and I walk into the garage and I see this car sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, how beautiful, obviously. But then I look down and I see these wheels. Most people, if you don't know, you probably think to yourself, 
Well, it's got a, you know, yeah. bad finish. You told me these wheels are special. I looked at it and I go, the paint job or the way it's finished looks pretty bad to me. It's pretty rough, but the fact is, guys, these are factory magnesium GTA Campagnolo wheels. These are the wheels that came on the Alpha GTA, which is a homologated car, only 500 in the world. I said, wow, a set of great looking, good condition GTA is beautiful. When I go open up the trunk, boom. Well, Not only all four, but the spare tire is also a GTA Campagnolo. So one of the signs that it is the magnesium wheels for the GTA is the fact that the finish is a little rough. Right, the finish is rough and they're 14 inch, like the factory were. Oops. You can buy replica GTAs like on our silver car. Right. And those are 15, they're a little bit larger, they're not magnesium. It's basically a replica of this tire. Of these so that's one way of telling. What's another way of telling that it is truly Well, we're I, I wanted to authenticate it, so that's what we did. Bring it a little closer, bring it a little closer. Right over here, Campagnolo, stamped with all its proper serial numbers. Immediately I thought to myself, hmm, I think I should keep these for a future, you know, GTA build that I always dream about doing. So these could be the wheels I use for that. So needless to say, the car does not include the wheels, guy. <laughs> this car was equipped with AC, not from factory, but the previous owners did adapt an AC unit into the car properly done. In fact, if you don't know any better, you might even think it's factory. It is a cool feature, especially living down here with the heat. It gives you a little extra comfort. Yeah. So that's nice. And that about wraps it up for this video, guys. We want to thank you again for watching. We love this car. We love the fact that it came with the wheels. It gives me now something to start off for my project car. And I'm glad we filled in that missing link from the video from our first season. If you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. That's right, guys. So please, I want to remind you one more time to hit subscribe. Follow us on Instagram right here, Gaston Rosato. And you can follow me at Renzo Rosato. We're here every Tuesday for you guys, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Peace Later. Out. Subscribe, what are you waiting for?